what's going on I just want to give everybody a big warm welcome to those of you watching the first ever video on this new YouTube channel called airplane mode today I'll be starting episode one out of a series that will teach you guys how to start your Zibo 737 800 from cold and dark to shut down at your destination airport for those of you who are wondering how to install the Zibo add-on for X-Plane 11 there are several videos online teaching you how to install the add-on uh, if we can hit 20 likes on this video I'll make a tutorial so you guys can learn how to install it as well as the audio bird sound pack from me uh, but without further ado, let's jump right in to the flight plan filing. Alright guys, so basically I just open up any websites. FlightAware link will be in the description. SimBrief link will be in the description. And Online Flight Planner link will be in the description. So all three of those links will be in the description below. Basically, to do this, you're just going to want to start out by putting your origin ICAO code, which is the code for your airport. So... Kilo Papa Delta X-Ray is Portland International ICAO code, and then I'm just going to be doing this flight to Bellingham. So type in your destination, which is Kilo Bravo Lima India for Bellingham. Uh, after you do that, you can search for flights. Uh, in my case, I'll be doing SkyWest 3391 right here. And this is just a great website. It really adds realism to your simulator. This is not at all required to complete your flight planning process. These two are the only ones that are actually required. However, this just adds realism. It gives you a real world flight that's going to be happening. It gives you its flight number. It gives you its cruising altitude. It gives you its route. You know what I'm saying. So after you find your flight, uh, you can go on to sim brief so basically once you enter you'll be met with this page right here you do need to make an account for this website to be able to generate flight plans but to do that you just go to register create an account register now and then fill in that information it's pretty self-explanatory but if you do have an account great you can just simply go to dispatch system and log in and create new flight so basically here you're met with your actual flight planning page so just put in your airline ICAO. If you don't know that, you can just check right here. It should stay right there, which is for SkyWest SKW and Alaska, it's ASA because I'm flying with Alaska. So um, then you can fill in your flight number, which is 3391. You can fill in your departure ICAO again, Kilo Papa Delta X-Ray and your arrival ICAO. So Kilo Bravo Lima India. And after you have that, we'll give you an alternate and we'll give you your route here. For here now, you can change your aircraft slash airframe to whatever you want. If you're watching this video and following along, then it should be the Boeing 737-800. But um, that will vary depending on which aircraft you are actually flying with. That will just give you right there an estimated time that your flight will take. Your departure runway, your arrival runway, your taxi out and taxi in times extra fuel altitude again you can leave it at auto so simbrief will calculate an automatic it will just generate automatically a random uh, cruising altitude but if you want to be extra realistic you can just find the altitude right here on flight aware which is 20,000 feet so you can put in 20,000 feet right there your passengers i like to leave those auto because i like to just see what simbrief comes up with as a random amount of passengers your cargo I usually just leave that empty, but you can add cargo if you want to. Uh, your zero fuel weight, I would recommend to leave that empty, just in case you don't want to calculate it and stuff like that. Your captain, your pilot ID, and this is your route. You can change this depending on what you want to do. So I could change it to the Lava 6 with Lava Transition and Pay and then Medi 3. Uh, I'm just using the route here. I know it says Medi 4. And here it says my D3. That's because in flight simulation, I don't think it's legally allowed to be using actual waypoints like SIDs and stars and stuff in a flight simulator. So they just do the best they can. But I'm just going to use this one because it's the one that they have there. And then you can generate your OFP, which is just going to be basically your weights, your fuels, and stuff like that. But while you're waiting for that, you can go to your online flight planner. You can type in your departure ICAO, which is Kilo Papa Delta X-Ray for Portland. 
and Kilo Bravo Lima India for Bellingham. So then you can do create plan, and here we go. So it loaded. That's your airways. I don't really use this to be honest because I don't really think that it adds much to your flight plan when you're flying in the simulator. I just use this only because in sim brief the fuel is kind of messed up. I don't know if there's a bug or something, but I'll put in the recommended amount of fuel in that sim brief suggests. And I'll run out like two hours before I reach the arrival airport. So I just use this because this always usually gives me a good results. So 11206 for the fuel. So 11,206 pounds of fuel. You can go here. And the only actual part that you're going to need for this video is this part here. We'll get into the rest of the stuff later on in other videos. But with that, you can pretty much get into All your right, simulator. Guys, we are in the Zibo 737-800, and we can start our safety checks. So this is pretty basic. It's based off of the XFMC plugin for X-Plane 11. Link will be in the description below, and you can find tutorial videos of how to install it on YouTube. But basically, for uh, safety checks, you're just going to want to make sure that your parking brake is set, your landing gear lever is down, your speed brake is up. Uh, you want your flaps to be fully up, and uh, then you can set for your weight and balance. So, yeah, we can go here and edit weight and balance right here. So, your payload weight is determined in the weight section. So, let's just go back to our... Alright, so basically the weights for this can be found down here in the weight section of your flight plan. We're just going to be using at the moment the payload weight, which is estimated 18,900 pounds. And it just estimated 181 people for the plane ride. So you can go back to your sim and you can, yeah, you can put that. All right, guys, once you're back in the sim, you can put in the total payload weight, and that is 18,900. So you just put in right here 18,900 pounds right there and then you can get your fuel which is also on the browser all right so you can go to online flight planner and find your fuel which is 11,206 pounds of fuel so you can put that into your sim 11206 all right guys so our fuel is total 11206 now before you guys start saying wow you're such a new you have to fill up the wing tanks first yeah i understand that and center should be filled up last however for the sake of this video i'm not going to get into the calculations to find out how much in each tank so i'm just going to do this for now your total fuel weight which is right there and um yeah apply changes and the fuel will be added so uh that is pretty much it for this video on filing your flight plan and the safety checks as well as the weight and balance um I just want to guys thank you so much for watching this video, first ever video on airplane mode, and don't hesitate to share, like, and subscribe for more, and feel free to write whatever you want in the comment section below. I'd like to say goodbye, and I will see you guys next time on the next tutorial. Peace.